Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I would like to discuss with you the concepts of speed, velocity and rates and how these all link into the concept of kinetics. Now all pretty familiar with the concept of speed. So we usually say uh, I travel, let's say, at a speed of 40 miles per hour. And in a way, we already have a nice definition in this, uh, in this uh, given here, uh, especially in the units. So it says miles per hour. So speed is usually uh, a measure of uh, a distance, and we usually say a change in distance, change in distance divided by a change in time. Change in time. So if I say it is 40 miles per hour, I know that I change my distance by 40 miles and the change in time, this would be in one hour. Now the important thing is that speed does not really have a, a direction. We drive 40 miles an hour without any direction. Well, we usually have a direction, but we don't indicate that in the term speed. Now the term velocity is very similar to that, but it does have a re uh, direction. So velocity, we can say our velocity again might be 40 miles per hour and again we have a change in direction, a, a change in distance divided by a change in time, change in time. Uh, but this time in the case of velocity we have a direction and what we usually say is, okay, here's our starting point, or here's our point of reference. Now, if we move away from this point of reference, then usually the velocity is negative. If we move towards this reference point, then the direction is positive. So we can have a velocity of minus 40 miles per hour, which means, because it is negative here, we are moving away from a starting point. So if this sounds a little bit uh, confusing, let me give you a quick example here. Now let's say I'm driving from, say from Canterbury, where this university is, to London. And these are roughly, well, around 60 miles. And uh, on a good day, it probably takes me about one and a half hours. Uh, today is not such a good day, so it might be uh, two hours. So if I start, say, at 1 p.m., here would be 2 p.m., and here would be 3 p.m. and uh, eventually at 3 p.m. I will be in London. Now here that is my starting point so my speed now would be well whatever it is so I go on the motorway go on the motorway and oh there is a little bit of a delay it goes slowly uh, but now it's it's good uh, I have a little break here at, uh, at, a, at a station and move on, then yeah, it's good, make good progress. Uh, all of a sudden I realize, oh my God, I forgot my wife at the station. So, well, shall I go back or, yeah, otherwise I'm, I'm in trouble. So I have to go back to where the station was, here pick up my wife. Um, get a lot of stick that I've left her and now I have to really speed up and go to 
to my destination. So what we see here is, yes, our, our speed, we can measure our speed, we can measure that by the distance that we traveled and that, uh, let me change the color, that would be, for example, we have this distance here from Canterbury to this point here and we needed about this time here. So that gives us our speed and it also gives us the velocity. Now we can see the velocity from two ways. We can say we travel in, times of, in, in terms of velocity, we travel away from Canterbury, so our velocity would be negative. But if we look uh, at the point of London, we will see that our velocity here is positive. Okay, what happens then? Now, obviously, our, our speed and the velocity changes. So here we've got, uh, we can drive very fast, here we drive slower, so we make less progress, we just get less distance done in uh, quite a fair long time. Uh, here we don't travel, so our speed and velocity is zero. Here we speed up until we realize that uh, wife got forgotten. Now here's where it starts to differ. What we see here is that the, the speed is still this one here. It's the difference here, that's the difference in in this time difference. So that's positive. If we if you look at speed, it's positive. But in terms of velocity, this is, is, is now different because if we look at it from the point of, of uh, Canterbury, we are going back to Canterbury, so our velocity would be positive. And if we look at London, our velocity here would be negative. So this means speed doesn't have a sign, velocity does have a sign. Now, how does it fit in? So what is a rate? And here something really strange happens because the definition of a rate is actually something bizarre. A rate is defined as difference in, and here it comes, very confusing, in something divided by difference in something else. Now you might scratch your head and think, uh, what on earth does that mean? Doesn't rate include a uh, time factor? Well, actually it does not. Rate includes, like velocity, it re includes plus or minus, so it includes a positive rate or a negative rate, but it just simply indicates something, a change in something, divided by a change in something else. So, if I say, for example, uh, pounds uh, or price should probably say price per liter of petrol. Is that a rate? Is that a velocity? Is that a speed? Well, certainly it's not a velocity, it's not a speed because there's no time factor in it, but it is something divided by something else. So that would be a rate. Or I would, uh, could, could for example say, donuts eaten per person. Well, that would be a rate. So every time you have a difference in something or a change in something divided by a change in something else, this would be technically a rate. Now, uh, when we look at chemical concepts, so in a, in a chemical or in a kinetic context, we usually uh, define a rate as a change in concentration, change in concentration divided by a change in time, change 
change in time. And this, in a way, is, is more intuitive, I guess, uh, because we can say, for example, we have uh, a starting concentration. So starting concentration, let's say we have uh, 0 0.5 molar and our final concentration, our end concentration, final concentration 0 0.3 molar and uh, this reaction happens over say 20 minutes. So what we can do now is we can say okay we lose the difference here which is 0 0.2 molar in these 20 minutes. How is it done now? Uh, because we said we, we've got 0 0.2 molar that is our difference between the starting and the final concentration. So that's our change in concentration and it, it per time. So we would say we have uh, we have 0 0.2 molar divided by 20 minutes. So that would be our rate. Now we start off with something high and we end up with something small. So we are going away from the starting point and as we said with the velocity this would indicate that it is negative. So a rate can be negative if we are moving away from the starting point. Uh, a different way of looking at that is that we look at the, the start and the final point and we say we have a difference and I indicate a difference with this Greek delta. Now this delta is uh, always defined as the final state final state minus the starting state minus starting state and we see now immediately where this minus where this negative sign comes from because if we've got our final state, we said that was 0 0.3 molar and our starting state was 0 0.5 molar. So we have 0 0.3 minus 0 0.5 and that of course gives us 0 point minus 0 0.2. So it's negative, it's negative 0 0.2. So if we lose something, if our final state uh, of the reaction is lower than the starting state, then it the sign is negative. And therefore we can write for this rate, uh, if we want, we can write final state minus starting state minus starting state divided by the difference in time or by the by the amount of time that it took us to go from start to final. So divided by time. And that would be a very nice rate. It is a rate because it is change in something divided by something else. It is a velocity because we have a change in something per time. Both rate and velocity are negative. And we also have a speed because we have a change in something divided by time. But in this case the speed is always positive. So the take-home message is rate is defined by change in something so change in something divided by change in something else something else and it can be positive or negative we have a velocity and that is a change 
in something divided by time. It can be positive or negative. And we have speed, that is change in something divided by time. But it can only be positive. A negative speed does not exist. So I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.